what's up guys? This is Rich and I'm here with Chuck. Hey guys. Here taking a look at the latest Arkham Origins trailer, this time focusing on multiplayer, which was just announced earlier today. Uh, one quick note, actually. It's done by Splash Damage, uh, a separate team entirely from WB Montreal. Absolutely, yeah. The same team that did uh, Quake Wars and Brink mm -hmm. back in the day. Uh, so not being done by uh, Warner Brothers internally. They've yeah. kind of outsourced this out. Uh, so go back a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And um, you see, these are the gang elite for the Joker. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they are, they're dressed up in Joker garb, and they've got the face paints and everything. Uh, one kind of looks like the Penguin, weirdly. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but, but no, they're, they're, they're Jokers. Uh, this is going to be two versus three versus three gameplay. Right. So you've got Batman and Robin mm -hmm. versus the Jokers, yep, three guys. There, yep. And then Bane, that's yep. him, mm -hmm. three guys. And I think I think what's interesting here is that okay, sort of, so, yeah. If you go back right here, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Joker and Bane will be playable right uh, in in this mode as well. They become unlockable like later on when you're playing in a match. And mm -hmm. right there, the Joker was shooting off uh, a, a a custom gun that he has called the King of Hearts. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm I, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. That one was actually his hand cannon, the Ace of Spades. It has splash damage to it. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I guess we should mention that, like, by default, you're actually just playing... So if you're one of the gangs, you're playing as these default groups of sort of thugs or the elites, um, which have varying sort of levels of powers and different abilities, um, or two people at random are selected to be Batman and Robin. But uh, by default, the gangs are just gangs, and then you actually have to go and let Joker and Bane into your map, right. basically. And, and right there, what happened was... Uh, uh, so, so each gang, they have separate uh, gadgets and tools that they can use. They're given to them by Bane and Joker. And in that case, Bane had given them an ultrasonic uh, pulse mm -hmm. that actually causes area of effect damage. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the cool things is these gang members actually have some, some fairly enhanced abilities. You actually have a, a, the ability to do x-ray vision, so you can kind of see. It's, it's basically a detective mode, so you can see where Batman and Robin are. Um, like, like that right there, that's a UAV. It's an unmanned uh, drone that fires rockets at people. Nice, nice. Uh, however, the only thing is, is right that there, if yeah. you're controlling that, then you become very vulnerable yourself. Right, right. I actually found, you know... I had a lot of skepticism when they were like, oh, multiplayer. I'm like, oh, uh, are you really doing this? There's actually a pretty good balance, and it feels fairly appropriate to the universe. Um, I was actually impressed. I was, yeah, I was surprised so, by it. So we've seen the villains, mm -hmm. and now here they are. Yeah. Batman's coming out. He, he comes out of the graves, just like in the solo campaign. Yeah. Uh, we've got a new Robin here. Uh, so Let's jump a, a lot of people have been have been commenting they looks different than he did in Arkham City. Well, there's probably a good reason for that because the one that was in Arkham City was Tim Drake, okay. and that guy. Now that should be uh, Dick, Dick Grayson. Yeah, because um, I mean, we're dealing with the origin, so it's early years of Batman, right. so it's and, not going to be... He even looks yeah. kind of like Nightwing from yeah. the DLC, if you Absolutely. played Arkham City DLC. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there's no way it's going to be someone like, like Damien, because it's just wrong, wrong era, wrong time frame. And he's dead. Yeah, yeah, that so. too, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, again, one of the coolest things I thought was when you let Bane and Joker into these games, like or in, you know, into your match... They are really, really powerful. They are Ab absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they they each have their own special abilities. Like right there, you saw that the yeah, Joker the uh, pulled out his Joe, uh, Joy Buzzer yeah, on, yeah. on Robin. Uh, that's his there. kind of like his melee attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really good. When when, you, when they're in the match, you definitely feel the momentum sort of swing towards one side the, or the, the other. The Joker's also have this uh, exploding dirigible that yeah. they can radio control. You you can even Blink ride it there. Uh, be, because each of these items is upgradable as, oh, as nice. you play. Yeah. Yeah, there's full customization for your your thugs and in terms of outfits that you can wear as well as well as usual like armament, you know, guns, abilities, that sort of thing. Of course, Batman can glide. Yeah, one of the things I thought was really interesting when we were playing uh, was the fact that y you can still do your sort of usual ambush attacks like you're used to. Um, this is a glide kick specifically, but sort of your your sort of uh, predator, you know, grab them from up high. Right. But you can't do it if they're looking right at you. Exactly. Which I thought was great. That that's sort of what evens it out a little bit. Yeah, um, because I mean, it's really e if you know AI in the game, you know, they're just not gonna spot you. But uh, in a multiplayer match, I mean, the you know person's gonna be looking around constantly. But if they're looking right at you, uh, you know, not gonna be able to do what you want to do. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, anything else we need to point out for this multiplayer trailer? It's pretty... Uh
pretty basic, pretty straightforward. It was more just the idea that, you know, now it's three on three on two, pretty much. So Yeah, I mean, I, I, I enjoy playing it. Uh, yeah. and, and also, this was set in Black Ape Prison, if you're wondering where it was, and that, that's right. pretty much what we, we played as yeah, well. Yeah, all this footage was just from one map, just looking at one map. But I guess the other the other thing to mention is there is a lot of territory capture, which affects right. respawn rates. Um, so it's this weird, like, mixture of, like, you know, capture territory... Uh, while still being kind of traditional three on three, uh, where you actually have reserves, uh, reserve gang members to fill out, you know, respawning, and if you run out, you run out, and right. that you know your goal is actually to wipe them out. Uh, Batman and Robin, actually, we should mention this, and I don't think we see any UI in this game, but uh, Batman and Robin, their goal is actually to ambush enough gang members to fill up a, a fear meter, basically. Right. They, so, so they're trying to intimidate people, and mm -hmm. and, and they do that by taking down. Uh, the, the the henchmen, but also by burying their attacks, right. so so that you can't do a, like a vertical takedown every time. Yeah. Uh, that's going to fill up the meter slower, and, and eventually, if they take down enough of these guys, Joker and Bane are just going to call off the attack. Yep, and then conversely, the Joker and Bane gangs can actually kill Batman and Robin to help respawn a bit of their uh, characters. So that's a look at the latest Batman Arkham Origins trailer. Stay tuned to IGN for much more on the game.